Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at this Dometic 311 part-time RV toilet. Uh, this is going to be a perfect uh, option for part-time RV living and extended camping trips. Uh, this does have a very sturdy eight and one quarter inch deep ceramic bowl. Uh, so it's going to be very long lasting and easier to clean than plastic. But being ceramic, it is gonna be a little bit heavier uh, then your plastic bowls, our seat, uh, lid, and base are all going to be a polypropylene material. So uh, they are going to be durable and uh, lighter weight. So you're kind of going to get the best of both worlds, uh, having that more durable bowl and then the um, lighter weight uh, lid and base here. So our overall weight is only going to be about 27 and a half pounds. Uh, so it's not going to uh, add too much uh, weight to your RV. Uh, this does have a low profile design, so it is going to be great for your smaller RV bathrooms or those with a raised uh, toilet platform. Our overall height here, we're looking at right at 15 inches uh, up to the seat. So that's going to be uh, maybe a little bit more of a challenge to get up from than some of the other taller options out there. Uh, if we look at our width, our overall width is right about 15 inches as well. And then our depth overall is going to be right about 19 inches, 19 and one quarter of an inch deep. Now, another important measurement for you to consider is going to be your rough end measurement. Uh, that is going to be the minimum distance that you'll need from the wall to the center of your flange uh, when the, where the toilet will sit. To measure that distance uh, without uninstalling your current toilet, you will uh, probably be able to use your mounting bolts uh, depending on how many uh, mounting bolts you have. Uh, but on the side there, that's typically uh, the center of your flange. So if you measure from your wall to those, uh, this toilet has a rough end measurement of 10 inches. So you wanna make sure that you have at least that much room there uh, so that this will uh, fit in place properly. This does have uh, feature the slow close seat and lid. So it is going to quietly close without slamming uh, against the bowl. So that's gonna be really nice for those uh, late night bathroom visits. Um, you won't have to worry about uh, disturbing everyone that's sleeping, especially uh, with everyone being in such close quarters. Uh, it will be nice to have that uh, quiet uh, closure there. It does take a little bit of time though. So uh, once we open that lid up, our seat itself is going to have a overall length of uh, 15 and 3 eighths of an inch. Get my tape measure out here to show you that. 15, just over 15 inches, just shy of 15 and a half inches in length. Our seat thickness is right at three inches. And then our cutout here, we're going to be at 11 inches long by eight inches wide. Now this uh, toilet does come in the white option that you see here, but then also in a tan that you see on the screen there. So depending on the color scheme of your RV's bathroom, these are the exact same toilet, same dimensions, uh, same materials, just a different color to uh, match your RV's uh, color scheme better. So uh, pick the one that's gonna be the best match for you. This does use a simple gravity flush design, so it will install directly above your black water tank. Uh, it does have the two bolt installation, so it's going to fit uh, most existing floor flanges. They do include the hardware that you're gonna need uh, to get this installed and to uh, cap it off uh, to give it that nice finished look. The way it operates is with the foot pedal over here. So that's going to control our flushing. So when you're getting ready to use the toilet, you will want to push the foot pedal down about halfway so that uh, water will fill up the bowl. Then when you're done, you'll push it down completely. That's going to open that uh, flange there uh, so that everything can flush out. You'll only wanna hold that down for 
one to two seconds. Uh, you don't want too much water to go down into your black water tank. Uh, use, use up too much of your water. Uh, this does have the pressurized water uh, spouts here that are going to uh, flow around the entire bowl to try and help clear out any waste that's in there. A uh, normal flush only uses about one pint of water, uh, so it's not going to use too much. But they do sell a hand sprayer separately. Uh, you can find it here at eTrailer.com using the part number that you see on the screen there. That's going to let you more precisely rinse away any lingering residue uh, in the bowl to ensure that you have a nice clean bowl and uh, that's also going to help reduce the amount of water that you're using, putting in your black water tank by allowing you that more uh, precise aim uh, to uh, clear everything out. This toilet is made here in the USA, so you can trust it's made to the high quality standards that we've come to know and trust for products that are made here in the US. Uh, so if you are looking to replace a low profile uh, toilet or if you're wanting to uh, add one uh, to a system that has uh, the capability of it, and this is going to do a great job for you. We do have lots of other options available here at eTrailer.com as well. So if you need a toilet with different dimensions, different height, uh, all sorts of other features, we've got lots of other options available as well. Uh, so if this one's not going to meet your needs, make sure that you're finding one that will. So that's going to complete our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.